Hello and welcome to Biodiversity Management Careers in the UK, Shape and Size. My name is Simon Roper uh, and I'm talking on behalf of the Careers in Nature Conservation uh, Erasmus project. The project itself, Innovative Employability Guidance for Higher Education Students in the Context of European Biodiversity Management. Now that's our focus for today, looking at jobs across the UK. So our story begins with Lantra, uh, the Sector Skills Council. Uh, in the past it was a Sector Skills Council uh, under pre previous governments and its responsibility uh, was uh, to the industry to build vocational qualifications. So not um, academic accredited qualifications but vocationally accredited qualifications. And these are qualifications that um, are certification to show that you can actually do practical work. Um, botanical surveys, surveys for animals, uh, planting trees, um, communicating with people, leading volunteers, and the list goes on. So Lantra nowadays uh, is a support for individuals and businesses working in environmental conservation. Uh, it's an awarding body, so it gives out certificates. Uh, it does research into the industry and uh, it establishes standards and qualifications. So the standards are what we work to. Um, and they sit behind the qualifications. So the standards are the things that tell us um, what it is, uh, the quality that we need to work towards. So if we're leading a walk or a talk, the standard would say that that walk or talk, talk needs to finish on time. That's the standard to which we work, it's just one example. So Lantra does uh, research into the environmental conservation sector and you'll see here that the sector covers uh, landscape, uh, habitats and species, management of uh, public access uh, to nature, uh, support for biodiversity in the broadest sense, public engagement, and has of course uh, overlaps with agriculture, fisheries, uh, game and forestry. So the workforce within the UK working in environmental conservation, approximately 95,000 jobs, uh, supported by over 190,000 uh, volunteer opportunities. To give you an idea of a starting salary for a countryside ranger, um, about £20,000, possibly a little bit more now. Uh, a senior ranger, 30000 senior ecologist, forty. A head of environment or director of wildlife trust uh, or uh, an NGO, uh, fifty to 80000 So Lantra Research tells us that there are approximately 3,000 organisations in the UK made up of NGOs, public sector and private sector, all working in environmental conservation. There's a high level of volunteer engagement, as we've just seen. About 60% of the workforce are male, 75% from higher education. That compares with a UK national average of 38%. So a very high proportion um, have come through higher education to work in nature conservation and wildlife management. Vocational qualifications are increasingly important and employers have identified a number of skills gaps, including the ability to monitor biodiversity. So that's recognising species and surveying for species. And these skills gaps go back to uh, 2010, 2008 even, the um, Natural Environment Research Council and the House of Commons Science Technology Committee along a bit later on with the Wildlife Trust, have all reported significant skills gaps within the sector around uh, identification skills and taxonomy, uh, field survey, analytical techniques and the use of technology, biological monitoring, and practical uh, skills from putting in gates to poster designs, all uh, urgently needed by the sector. So what do employers want? Well. Lantra surveys of employers, and indeed our own Ambios surveys of employers, um, all produce very similar results. Employers are after good communication skills, good team working, and reliability. Reliability of an individual, which may seem uh, trivial, but actually is really important that, to know that somebody can, will actually turn up on time, that when they commit to doing a job, they will actually follow it through and complete it. That reliability is a, is a crucial soft skill. Presentation skills and project management also high on employers' needs. Specifically within biodiversity management, 
They're looking for field skills and identification skills. Technology skills, which might include uh, GIS and GPS, and the use of trail cameras. Practical skills from gates to poster design, which we mentioned before. And when you're initially applying to employers, they're looking for a relevant quality experience. You can see here the examples of the network of organisations, some of those 3,000 uh, operating in the UK and some European partners as well uh, shown here. Um, these organisations should be becoming familiar to you. Um, and if they are not, perhaps now is a good time to do a bit of research and become familiar with them because uh, many of them are key players. RSPB, you may have heard of, uh, Natural England, the Government Advisors on Nature Conservation, the Environment Agency, and then others um, such as the Wildlife Trust, the National Marine Aquarium, the Field Studies Council, and others. So jobs. Um, environmental conservation splits broadly into, into three um, sorts of jobs. There are specialists, um, associated uh, specialists, if we could spell the word correctly, um, and backroom work. So what does that look like? Here's an example of an organisational chart for a typical wildlife trust. So we have the chief executive who sits between uh, all the staff and the trustees, responsible to the trustees. Um, and within the staff team, you have a conservation team, education team, marketing team, and admin team. So the conservation team uh, are focused on nature reserves. They have people who are managing nature reserves, looking at planning control, looking at projects and campaigns. The education team are out with schools, doing adult education and working on specific projects. The marketing team are involved obviously with media, with volunteers and publications and membership. The administrative team looking after the crucial finances that make it all run, the human resources and governance. We mentioned the trustees uh, before and that uh, governance would be part of that. And in addition, um, other sorts of skills that feed into these teams, graphic designers, performers, accountants and lawyers. It's a very broad uh, church, environmental conservation. There are place, places for many different skills. So we had a quick look at um, a website, environmentjob.co.uk. Please note it's singular job, not plural. There is another site uh, that is environment jobs. We specifically work quite closely with Environment Job. So it's looking at the data. Um, this is the middle of March 2017. I was looking at the data for uh, various different jobs currently advertised. Um, and in brackets, you'll see the data that we collected from this time last year. So this is a kind of update. So currently advertised on environmentjob.co.uk, there are 10 research jobs, 20 administrative jobs, 29 communication jobs, and you can see for yourselves the rest of the list. Um, in brackets was the situation last year. So you can see that um, there has been an increase in the number of jobs available. And I think that's probably due to a number of fairly high profile announcements just recently uh, on uh, funding from uh, various charities and uh, lottery. And that's probably why we're seeing a, um, an increase in uh, available jobs. So that, they are the available jobs split by um, area. Uh, area of interest, if you like, research, administration, communication. Okay, apologies, quick skip there. Um, if we now look at um, how those jobs are split by area, uh, you can see there the number of jobs available in different parts of the UK. And the split between full-time and part-time jobs that are available. If we then look at the number of jobs in different categories, you'll see here that number of jobs advertised in ecology, 43, with 35 voluntary positions. In conservation and wildlife, 97 jobs available, with 108 in volunteer, volunteering. 
And in environmental education, 38 jobs currently advertise 48 volunteering opportunities. So this website is very useful for looking at this kind of analysis, um, but also finding those jobs that uh, you may wish to apply for. And here's one of those. Uh, we picked this off the website uh, from uh, conservation and wildlife jobs, the 97 that uh, it currently found. Uh, and we selected this one for you to have a look at. Here it is, Practical Projects Officer, Staffordshire Wildlife Trust. Um, salary just over 20,000. This is an entry level uh, job. And you'll see that the Staffordshire Wildlife Trust is looking for somebody to assist with their Living Landscapes Partnership Project, which is, as you'll see there, HLF funded, HLF being Heritage Lottery Fund. And we looked at the experience and skills and knowledge that were essential if you're applying for this job. So these are the things that you would want to put in your job application with examples of why it is and how it is that you have these experience uh, and these skills. Um, so demonstrate experience of managing volunteers, good at negotiation, experience in a wide range of practical and estate and habitat management work. So you want to pack your um, application with good examples of those, as well as skills and knowledge in supervising and leading practical tasks, volunteer recruitment, use of power tools, health and safety, uh, leadership, and some knowledge of veteran trees. And if you didn't have any of those uh, skills uh, or those knowledge uh, points at the time of application, um, you would uh, certainly want to acquire them fairly quickly and certainly be ready to be interviewed about them. And can you note the excellent leadership skills, the word leadership there, uh, not management. Important distinction and you will see elsewhere on this website um, a, a reference um, to what leadership looks like uh, in comparison to what management looks like. Important distinction. So there are many examples available on the environmentjob.co.uk website. Um, by all means go and have a look around familiarise yourself um, with the current jobs that are available. Thank you for listening and good luck. And if we can help um, any further, then please drop us an email to the address on the screen.